He was quiet, but not non-talkative, and always put people at ease. He believed in hard work. He was an engaged reader, an active thinker, a learner all his life. Very humble, loved his employees. That think, I think that is probably his uh, greatest interest in life were the employees of Eli Lilly and Company. Born in 1885, Eli Lilly was named for his grandfather, Colonel Eli Lilly. At age 10, Eli began working for his grandfather and his father, J.K. Sr., in the family pharmaceutical business, starting out as a bottle washer. I uh, worked on summer vacations, and whatever department he was in, he always picked the dirtiest and smelliest job to do. He was a very hard worker. He graduated from pharmacy school and came to work for the company in the very early 20th century. He had some real reasons to work hard in terms of his family relationships, but he also had that inner drive. He loved walking through the, the manufacturing facilities and talking to the people he was interested in production. He was an innovator in those areas. He developed techniques of producing large quantities of drugs at low unit cost. That was the first big contribution that I think he made to Eli Lilly and Company. Many of Eli's contributions shaped the course of modern medicine. The development of insulin, the early production of penicillin and antibiotics, and the creation of the Salk polio vaccine are just a few examples of the advancements under Eli's direction. Well, anything concerning the employees was at the top of the list. He used to leave the executive office twice a day to go over to the cafeteria, and he'd sit down with the, he called them the boys in white. And that was either the manufacturing people usually, or sometimes the researchers. And they, of course, were always um, astonished that he would do that, but that was his habit. Uh, but the employees loved it. Eli Lilly approached his hobbies and interests with the same zeal as he brought to his professional career. He loved archaeology and history, authored five books, wrote poetry, and was an accomplished woodworker, a generous philanthropist, and was a strong advocate for giving back to the community. He was a man with a variety of interests. Eli Lilly believed in education passionately. He did many projects that were directed toward helping children learn and grow and understand. Of the important things in Mr. Lilly's life, his wife probably came first. Other things that were important to him uh, besides the company were Lake Wawasee. He loved to be up there. He spent every summer there until the last year before his death. There's a man who could have just sat down and relaxed. Even in his later years after he retired, he never did that. He was a very active mind. Not just active physically, but active mentally. This is a wonderful case of still waters running very, very deep. A fascinating individual with all sorts of passions, with all sorts of interests that I think drove him throughout his life.